Hey, fifth graders, it's Mrs. Turner. We are going to continue to convert our metric units using powers of 10. So I can multiply and divide powers of 10, which means that I can convert metric units because the metric system is all based around this idea of times 10 or divide by 10. So those powers of 10. So let's do some practice problems together. Let's start with, we have 1.2 meters. So this is our meter, right? The basic unit meter. And in our conversion chart, I'm going to close up here. We start with our basic unit in the middle. There is going to be three smaller units to the right and three larger units to the left. So starting with our basic unit, then we go deci, centi, milli, and it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller as you go to the right. Just like in a place value chart, anything behind the decimal is smaller than our whole one, the basic unit. Over here on the left is everything that is bigger, right? So like this would be our ones is our basic unit, tens, hundreds, thousands. So these are so much bigger of a unit, which means that it's way longer than this one meter stick. So let's say I have 1.2 or one and two tenths of a meter stick. So that would look sort of like this meter stick and then this much more. Okay, so about two tenths more. And I want to know how many centimeters, how many of these would be along 1.2 meters. So I'm going to just draw up here. All right, here's my meter stick and then I'm just going to keep going. And here would be like my 1.2 meters. And I wanna know how many centimeters that is, okay? So I can use my 1.2 meters equals some number of centimeters. Now I'm gonna to go to my conversion chart. I see that here is a meter, my basic unit, and then it goes decimeter, centimeter. So that would be one, two, okay? And if I remember from the patterns that I watched in the last video, that when I have decimeters, right, this blue guy right here is one decimeter in length. That's a decimeter. And if you remember correctly, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them that equal our meter. So we multiply times ten. Right? And then the centimeter is these teeny little things. That would be a length of a centimeter, one side of this. And if I go up here and I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred of those would cover my meter. If I wanted to know how many was on here, right? Each of these would be like one centimeter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one decimeter is 10 centimeters. But if I was going from a meter to a centimeter, right, that would be 10 times 10, which is why we got a hundred of them. So the way that I would think about this is I'm going one, two, or 10 times 10, and I know that 10 times 10 is the same thing as the 10 to the power of two. I have two tens multiplied together. So I'm gonna take this one and two tenths, okay? And I'm going to multiply it times that 10 squared. Cause I have one, two jumps this way. And that's how many centimeters it's going to be. So one and two tenths times a hundred, right? Because this is 10 times 10, which is a hundred will tell us how many centimeters. So using our place value chart, here's my ones, then I have a decimal, and then here's our tenths and our hundredths. And then over here would be our tens. So I input over here would be our hundreds. I input our one and two tenths, 
one and two tenths. And I'm gonna multiply each of these times a hundred. So one times a hundred would be 100. And then that would move one, two to the left, right? Times 10 times 10, one, two. And I move the one right here in the hundred, goes in the hundreds, right? And then this two tenths, times 100 would be 1, 2 this way, 20. So this 2 needs to go into the tens, right? And then I have nothing in the ones, so I need to input a 0 to show that there's nothing in the ones. Then we have the decimal. We can input that there's nothing behind the decimal, too. And we have 120 as our answer. So one and two tenths meters is the same thing as 120 centimeters. And if we were looking on here, right, this would be 100 centimeters once I get to the one. And then I would have 10 more centimeters and another 10 more centimeters for a total of 100 plus 10 and 10, so 120 centimeters. So 120 of these little guys. Let's say that instead I have 12 of these guys. So I'm just going to put these up here. There is exactly 10 of them. Here is 11 of them. And we need one more to make 12. Okay, so I have 12 centimeters up there. And you'll notice that it does not cover the whole meter stick. Hmm. So let's try this the other direction. Let's say that I have 12 centimeters. And I want to know how many meters. Well, clearly, it's not even going to be a full meter it only goes to here. So it's some decimal or fraction of a meter. It's not a full meter. So I have 12 centimeters. So going this direction, I'm going to go one, two left. I'm not even going to have a full meter. So I know that I'm getting even smaller than 12, which means I need to divide by 10 on each jump. So I'm really dividing by 10 two times, right? So I'm going to be dividing by 10 squared, or 10 times 10, which is 100. So over here in my conversion, I'm going to take this 12, and I am going to divide it by 10 squared. Because here's my centimeter, decimeter. Okay, so let's make another place value chart and figure out what is 12 divided by 10 squared or 100, right? So I'm really doing 12 divided by 100 since this 10 squared would be 100, 10 times 10. Two tens multiplied together. 10 times 10 is 100. So again, we'll start with our place value chart. I have ones. Then I have, oh, no, I should start with tens. Tens, ones, decimal, tenths, hundreds, thousands. Okay, so let's start by placing our one and two tenths into the correct spot. So I have, or not one and two tenths, 12. So I have 12 would be one ten and two ones. And I'm going to divide these by a hundred which remember means that I'm going to go divide by 10, divide by 10 would be dividing by 100. So I'm going to go 1, 2, and that first 1, or like we can think 10, divided by 100 would be 1 tenth, so decimal place 1. And then 2 divided by 100 would be 
one, two this way, or that two hundred. So you can think about it this way. If you had two dollars and you had to divide it up into a hundred groups, there would be two pennies in each group, two cents, right? Also, I really like to do it like this, where I think two is like 2.00 divided by 100, okay? So ignoring this, 200 divided by 100 would be two, right? But I have a place here. So I have one, two, three, so I need to go one, two, three, and one, two, decimal point three. So one, two, decimal point three, so I need to endpoint zeros here, and I get my two cents, okay? So that would be 0.12. So my answer to 12 divided by 100 would be 12 hundredths of a meter. So 12 centimeters equals 12 hundredths of a meter, which is smaller than one, which we knew was the case up here. Right? We knew that it wasn't even going to be one full meter. It's going to be 12 hundredths of a meter. Right? So not even a full meter. And if you look, it's right on the 12 there, which would be 12 hundredths of a meter.